Hey guys, Mr. Bowman here. Today's learning objective is in yellow and we are learning to calculate the probability of given events using a Poisson distribution. And we are focusing on less than only questions. And I do want to note that is different to the previous video's exact questions and the next video's greater than questions. So they're all slightly different and we do need to know how to answer each type of question. So before we move on, um, I just want to get a bit of a statistic for you. So the EPL, the English Premier League, so EPL, in a given game, there is an average of 0 0.52 goals scored. And that is the addition of both teams, not just one team. Um, and this is an example of a, a good application of a percent distribution. And that was per game. And I do want to underline that word per. That's normally a bit of a giveaway for a percent distribution as well. So let's say I've gone to Aston Villa's next game. Um, and I want to know, well, if this is a random game, what's the probability of this being a goalless draw? Um, I would want to know, well, what's the probability of x being equal to 0? And in that case, x would be 0. Lambda, or the mean, that would be 2.52. And we'll be using the PPD function of our calculator because we're looking for an exact point or x equals something. When I put that in my calculator, I figured it out to be 0 0.0805. And I've rounded that to 4DP. So when I go to a game in Aston Villa's playing, it's probably not going to be a null draw. Well, what if that game, what's the probability of there being only one goal? So I'm going to do the same thing. Well, what's the probability of exactly one goal? So x would be equal to 1. And it's the same analysis before, except I'm going to cross out that 0 and put in a 1 there instead. And when I put that into my calculator, the probability of there being exactly one goal is 0 0.207. Oh, sorry, 2028. And that's also rounded to 4dp. So we're getting a bit better, so more likely or not, I'm going to be seeing one goal happening. Well, what's the probability of me going to that game and seeing two goals being scored? So I'm going to cross out that one. So that one is now a two. And that is 0 0.2555. And that's also rounded to 4dp. So if we add up the probability of all of these... 0 0.0105, 0 0.02028, plus 0 0.2555. That comes to 0 0.5388. And that's an interesting number. So that would be the probability of there being 0, 1, or 2 goals in that Aston Villa game. But it was a bit annoying to calculate the probability of 0, then the probability of 1, then the probability of 2, and then adding them all together. So there is actually a shorter cut. So if I'm looking for the probability of there being 2 or less goals, so that's what I've got there, so 2 or less goals, I can actually take a bit of a shortcut using a different function of our graphics calculator. And I'm going to interest, introduce us to the PCD mode of our graphics calculator and that's C that stands for cumulative and what that does is it's going to add together numbers of x and what I can do is I'll be able to with one mode of the calculator I'll be able to figure out what's 0, 1 and 2 all together so I'm going to put that into our calculator so we're going to use the PCD mode and there is a description in the video about how to use PCD mode our average, our average is the higher, oh, sorry, our x, our x is the highest x value that we're interested in, in which case is 2, and by putting in 2, that's going to include 1, and it's also going to include 0 as well. And our lambda, well, that's unchanged, it's still 2.52 per game. And when we put that into us in our graphics calculator in PCD mode, x value would be 2, lambda would be 2.52, and that would give us a probability of 0 0.5387. And what we can do, is, we can see here is, with one calculation, 
we've actually calculated it straight away. And that difference, I'd suggest, was just rounding from the previous three calculations up there. So PCD mode, a very powerful way to use Poisson distributions. And we're going to get into some more examples about how to do that. Okay, so I've got four more examples for us about how to apply this skill with normal distribution, also with Poisson distribution. And I'm going to write them all down in this space over here. I'm going to pause the video when I do that. And then once I've done that, we're going to go through how I would approach each of these four examples. Okay, so we're unpaused and I have our four questions on the left hand side. We're continuing with our EPL theme. So I've gone to this Aston Villa game and I'm wanting to know what is the probability of me getting, me seeing fewer than two goals. And the way I start these questions is I always start with a number line. So let's stop at seven. Um, but in theory, that goes on forever. And this line's really important because the most difficult skill is trying to figure out what the x value is or what the, the, the highest value you're actually interested in is. So let's have a look at the question. So I'm looking at fewer than two goals. So a lot of us are going to be circling two. So we're going to be circling these numbers here. But two is not fewer than two. So we're actually interested in that question is the same as asking, well, what's the probability of seeing zero or one goals at that Aston Villa game? So we're not including that two, doesn't get included. The highest value in that range that we're interested in, that we've circled, is one. So that means x is going to be equal to one, and lambda is going to be 2.52. And because we're interested in multiple values, so we've now got two values circled, we will be using the PCD mode because we want to accumulate or add together the zero and the one. And that's what we're gonna do. So on our graphics calculator, we're gonna put in one and 2.52 as the mean. And that means the probability of fewer than two, so I've got the notation less than two, would be 0 0.2832 and if you make look back at our previous example if you add 0 and 1 together that's about the number that we got or so we're pretty happy with that okay so I'm going to change pen color so we can see each question individually so we'll go paint this time here so I've now at this Aston Villa game different game I want to know what is the probability of seeing four or less goals so again, we want to start off with our number line, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And just noting, I've stopped at 7 because the highest number I saw in the questions was 6. So 4 or less. So would that, basically the question is, would that include 4 goals? And yes, it would because it says 4 or anything less than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle all of these ones here. So I'm interested in the probability of 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4 goals. And the highest value in that range is the 4. So that means x is going to be equal to 4. Lambda will be 2.52. And because we're adding together multiple numbers, so we're adding 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, we're going to be using the PCD mode. And C means we're going to accumulate all of the numbers to find our final answer. So that means the probability of less than or equal to 4 will be 4. So that would be 0 0.8885. And again, I've rounded that to 4DP. So hopefully this making, is making sense. I'm emphasizing the tricky part to do with finding the x value. So the next one, so another Aston Villa game, they're playing another team. What is the probability of seeing less than six goals? So let's do our number line, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and that does carry on in theory. I do want to note the importance of the number line. Many, many people are going to skip this number line, and those people are going to make silly mistakes that will lead to wrong answers. So make sure you're doing your number line. And that is actually going to be the code word today. For today's video so if you've watched the video so far can you put number line in the comments below 
um, I'll be able to see if you watch that by if you, if you do that. So we're talking about less than six goals. So does six is six included? Is it is six less than six? It's not. It's actually equal to six. So based on that, is we're looking for zero, one, two, three, four, five, because all of those numbers are less than six. Six is equal to six, so we can't include that. And seven is greater than six, so we can't include that either. What that tells us is x is going to be equal to five, because five is the greatest number in the circled area. Lambda will be 2.52. And we are adding together multiple numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to be using or continuing with PCD mode. So I'm going to put five into my calculator. And that means the probability of seeing less than six. And key thing is I haven't included that equal to's part because we don't want to include six. Is 0 0.9566. And I rounded that to 4DP again. So most likely we're going to be seeing less than six goals. And the last question, we'll change pen color. We'll go to orange. What is the probability of seeing no more than five goals? So again, let's start off with the number line. So no more than three goals. I did say five, I apologize. And don't forget number line is the code word for today's video. We're seeing no more than three. So the question is, do we include three or do we not include three? Is three no more than three? Yeah, it looks like it is. So four would be more than three, but three is not no more than three. So that means I'm going to want to include three. And the highest value in our range we're interested in is now going to be that three. So x is going to be equal to three. Lambda will still be 2.52. And we're going to continue with PCD because we're trying to add together 0, 1, 2, and 3. So we're going to put 3, x3, lambda, 2.52 in our graphics calculator. And that tells us the probability of x being less than or equal to 3 was equal to 0 0.7533. And again, rounded that to 4DP. So that was a, a relatively long-winded explanation using EPL goal averages to explain less than questions. Really, really important. Please use that number line to identify the highest X value in the range that you are interested in. Without that number line, you will make mistakes. Thanks for listening to today's video. Now let's get into heaps of questions.